In this video, I'm going to introduce the three main trends in Web3 in 2023. These three niches are growing very fast with tons of projects and tons of job opportunities. So if you are a developer trying to get into Web3, you should know about these three niches. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blogs, I help you to become a Web3 expert so that you can make more money, gain more freedom and work on projects that you love. So the first big trend in Web3 is DSOC or Decentralized Social Media. Well, there are many problems with social media currently. So we have censorship, we have misinformation, and at the same time, social media is so important in our daily life. So clearly, everybody understands that something needs to be done to fix social media. So with decentralized social media, we will have the user data and their content stored on the blockchain. And this gives us a couple of advantages. First of all, it's more secure. Users get back the control over their data. It also allows users to monetize their content. It provides more transparency because everything happens in a smart contract on the blockchain. And it's better for free speech. Now, it also has some disadvantages, such as it's hard to attract users at the beginning. This also poses some problem with privacy because all the data is public on the blockchain. And at the moment, the UI is not as polished as existing social network. So how does it work? So you have the protocol and the front end. So for the protocol, this is a smart contract that is on the blockchain and a smart contract will have the user data and the content. The smart contract will also have the role of the network. And what's really interesting is that the user content will be stored as an NFT, which will allow user to monetize the content. For any content that takes a lot of space, like images and videos, this will be stored outside of the blockchain, though, on a network like Filecoin. And for the front end, what's really interesting is that a different front end can be built from the same social media protocol. The API of this protocol is public and permissionless since it's a smart contract. And this is very important because as we have seen recently in the example of Twitter that decided to limit the use of the API and make developers pay, with decentralized social media, this is something that will never happen. All right, so now let's see some example of decentralized social media that already exist. So one of the most famous one is the Lens Protocol. So it was created by the team of Aave and it was launched last year in 2022. So Lens is a low level protocol, which means that it's not intended to be used directly by end users, but instead it's meant to be a foundation of an ecosystem of applications. And that's interesting because you can build many applications on top of Lens. So you can build a front end that is more like Twitter, a front end that is more like Facebook or a mix of different social media. Another example of decentralized social media is Farcasters. So on Farcaster, you can send short text messages that connect to your Ethereum address. So it's basically a decentralized Twitter. And we also have Miro, which is a decentralized blogging platform. And what's interesting to note is that we also start to see traditional social media that start to become more decentralized. For example, Twitter started to accept NFT as profile picture, and it also planned to integrate crypto payment. So how can you leverage this trend? One way would be to work for a decentralized social media protocol. Another way is to create your own project. And I'm going to give you a tip if you want to get hired by one of these protocols. What you can do is you can build a front end on top of an existing protocol like Lens. And it's a great way to demonstrate your expertise. So in 2023, another big trend in Web3 is smart contract security. And first, why it matters. In Web3, we manipulate a lot of money in Web3 protocols, especially in DeFi. If there is a hack, there will be a lot of damage. So it's very important to have safe smart contracts. And this is why salaries are so high for smart contract security specialists. So it's really one of the biggest opportunities in Web3. But how can you leverage this trend? There are a couple of ways. So first, you can work as a protocol engineer for a DeFi protocol. You can do smart contract audit or you can do bug bounty. So if you want to do bug bounty, there are a couple of platforms for that, such as Code for Arena, Sherlock, ImmuneFi, and Hack and Proof. If you want to do smart contract audit, there are different options. So you could work for a smart contract auditing company, or you can be a solo auditor. So if you are a beginner, one of the things that you can do is to read some smart contract audit report. Then you can start to do some bug bounty, and then you can start to produce some content about Web3 security to demonstrate your expertise. 
And another big trend in Web3 in 2023 is zero knowledge proof. So zero knowledge proof is a new cryptographic technique. With zero knowledge proof, a prover can prove that they know some information without revealing what is this information. And that was originally introduced to solve privacy on the blockchain, which is a big issue since everything is public on the blockchain. And people realize that beside privacy, zero knowledge proof can also be applied to solve the problem of scalability of blockchain. And that's because the amount of data that is required for zero knowledge proof is very small, which is great for blockchain. So with zero knowledge proof, we can kill two birds with one stone. But how zero knowledge proof are used in practice? So on Ethereum, we already have what we call layer two scaling solution, which are basically secondary blockchain, such as Polygon. These layer two scaling solutions are used to make Ethereum more scalable. And there are two technologies used for this layer two scaling solution. There is optimistic rollup and zero knowledge rollup. The big advantage of the zero knowledge rollup is that they are more scalable since zero knowledge proof take very little space and they allow for way faster transaction between Ethereum L1 and layer two scaling solutions. So zero knowledge is really the future of layer two scaling solution. So here are the main project for zero knowledge proof. So the first generation of zero knowledge chain were application specific. I'm talking of project like DYDX or loop ring. And that's because it was way easier to implement zero knowledge proof for just one application. But then some progress were made and this when we got the second generation zero knowledge proof blockchain, which are general purpose, which means that you can run any smart contract. But the problem is that they have their own language and tooling different from what we have on Ethereum. So I'm talking about projects such as Aztec, Starknet and zero knowledge sync one. And then another big advance was made. I'm talking of third generation zero knowledge blockchain. So they are also general purpose like second generation, but they are compatible with the EVM, which means that developers are able to reuse all the tooling of Ethereum smart contract, such as Solidity. And so at the moment we have two examples of EVM zero knowledge blockchain. So that's ZK Sync 2 and Polygon ZK EVM. And the mandate for these two projects will come online in the next few months. So how can you leverage the trend of zero knowledge proof as a Web3 developer? So first you have to study how zero knowledge proof work. No need to go deep into the math, but you have to understand at a high level how this work. After that, you can study the different implementation and see how you can create and deploy smart contracts on them. So for the second generation zero knowledge chain like ZK Sync 1, you will have to learn a custom programming language. But for third generation zero knowledge chain like ZK Sync 2, you will be able to get up and running pretty fast since they are EVM compatible. So to recap, the three big trends in Web3 in 2023 are decentralized social media, smart contract security, and zero knowledge proof. The easiest to get into is decentralized social media. The one that makes the most money is smart contract security. And the one that is perhaps the most interesting technically is zero knowledge proof, but it's very new. There aren't as many job opportunities at the moment, but it will come in the future. And if you want to take advantage of these three trends, you first have to learn Web3 development. And I have created a free masterclass to explain the full roadmap to become a Web3 developer in 2023. It will save you days of research on Google. So to watch my free masterclass, you just have to follow the link down below. All right, that's it for this video. Bye.